He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm. It's Gary, baby. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Tamika, honey, she is back. Who am I talking about? Tamika Foster Raymond, y'all. The beautiful ex-wife of Usher Raymond. She is back, y'all. And she is set, honey, to publish her new memoir title, Here I Stand in a Beautiful State. Now, they're saying, y'all, that the memoir covers Tamika's career, her marriage to pop singer Usher Raymond, and her divorce. And, you know, her son death, Kyle, in, back in 2012, and dealing with Instagram stalkers. Now, according to EURweb.com, Tamika, y'all, this is the deal, y'all. She decided to document, y'all, her life story after speaking with three women, y'all, on a beach in Bali. Now, they're saying Tamika was in Bali, and she was surprised, y'all, when these women insisted, y'all, that there was no way she could have been Usher's ex-wife because his wife had died. So she said that's when she assumed, y'all, using her ex-husband, um, Usher's last name after going by her maiden name, Tamika Foster, for years following their divorce. Now, they're saying that the book is titled, it's inspired by Usher's fifth studio album, Here I Stand, that he made back in 2008. And, you know, she went on and on to talk about, you know, everything. So a lot of people said that's a good thing, you know, honey. Now, if these women thought this poor woman was dead, she had to come on out and write a book, honey, because she didn't want nobody, you know, to think that she really was dead. So was touching more so about it. She dropped his last name when they divorced. She did not like the name um, Raymond anymore, but since these women thought she was dead, she decided to pick that name back up. So now she's back to Tamika Foster Raymond, and she has a memoir coming out, y'all. So congratulations goes out to I Tamika. I had never heard she died, Gary. Did you I know, that's what pe- I never heard that, but honey, the women in Bali told her they thought she was dead. They said, girl, you dead, huh? But she said, honey, she wasn't dead, so she came on back, and she decided to write that book. So congratulations. Go- did you ever talk to her, Brad? I actually saw the last time I was in L.A., and she told me about the book. So, congratulations. Mm, all right, y'all. All right, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, they're saying African-American celebrities are jumping on the bandwagon with Ashton Kutcher and his beautiful wife, Miss Mila Kunis. I don't know if y'all heard the shocking story, but Ashton Kutcher and his wife, Mila Kunis, said that they don't believe in bathing their kids or themselves too much, honey. Now, they're saying Ashton and Mila, honey, appeared on uh, uh, um, Dad Shepard's um, podcast, and they're saying... Um, you know, and they talked about honey bathing, and they're saying that um, um, Ashton agrees, saying that the only wash that he only va- wash his vital areas every day, and they're saying honey that um, his wife Mila said honey she only washed that same thing, and they're saying that they don't believe in bathing their kids every day. They say because they look at their two beautiful kids, little Wyatt six and little Dimitri four, and they said that honey that if they don't see dirt on them, they don't bathe them. And they said that they, she said that she wasn't the type of parent to bathe her kids all the time. So, you know, and a lot of people saying, you know, she said, just throw some water. Now, Ashton said that he does wash his armpits and his crouch daily and nothing else. He said, and he has a tendency to throw some water on his face after a workout to get all the salts out. But otherwise, they don't believe in bathing. Because so, it takes so much water. But isn't that great, dog? It smell like a sweaty neck. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. But, but don't that's, what water, that's what the water is for. Yeah, but the water is funny though, Brad. But we do. I think African Americans are the only race that uh, really put a lot of emphasis on bathing too much and stuff like that. <laughs> because look at other races that don't even bathe; they like their natural scents and stuff like that. But we always talking <laughs> about we gotta bathe and this and that and other and taking all that water. So I mean, I ain't gonna I, be I'm gonna st- stay with the bathing side. I'm gonna stay with the bathing side. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna keep clean too. <laughs> Ricky, what you think about that? Cause Wash, I I'm, I'm with wash up. You see, exactly. with wash up. <laughs> yeah, some hot spots. You gotta keep, yeah, keep your water, control your water bill. Nah, <laughs> exactly. So, and that's what they doing. They control their water bill. They like don't make you don't no need sense. Need a good hot shower, but once a week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Funky yes. monkey. I know no. you're lying. With your no. OCD, yeah, just, whatever. Just change the sheet. You no, know he's so clean. If you, you change, know he's so if you clean, change the that's... sheet, if, you don't have to take a shower. You just change the sheet because the sheets make you feel like you had a bath. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, I mean, all that just, kind of you just hit. And you, cause, I mean, we, we know go, you don't do that, but we know Carrie really do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're in a rush, child, all that wasting water, child, please go ahead and take that um, ta- towel and wash under your arms and stuff and like that. And, and going about your doggone business and stuff. Oof, and baby, that's what they said. We're about to run out of water now on the earth. So, here, they ain't wasting no water. So, do what you got to do, honey. Y'all with all that. Uh, y'all to bathe and all that other stuff and other races like that. Ain't nothing scent. like a fine ass chick that smell like a horse. <laughs> Look at the day, honey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> the color of the day is one of my favorite colors. Y'all, my color of the day, y'all, is nice shade. On the high end, you say nice shade. And on the low end, you say beautiful lilac. <laughs> That's your color for the day. <laughs> Y'all give it up again with the team. Oh, yeah. <laughs>